guys welcome back to my youtube channel um i know it's been forever since i posted i think the last time i posted was summer 2020 and you know this channel used to be me and my boyfriends but i'm kind of taking over it and you know i'm gonna be showing you guys some little mini vlogs um of my everyday or you know like tutorials and cooking vlogs and things like that so it'll be like my channel i'll be filming a get ready with me because it is christmas eve today and um you know i want to get cute so i'll be showing you how i get ready and um i'm also going to be giving you like a little life update um so i already have my hair done and i got my lashes done yesterday so let me put my headband on so I don't get any makeup in my hair. And I already um, prepped my skin. And I put like my primer and all that stuff. So now that we have the hair out of the way, I am going to start with my foundation. I know people always start with like their eyes and their brows, but I don't, I don't do that. I just like start the opposite way for some reason. Um, so don't judge me but because I don't do too much to my eyebrows I always start with my okay so I live on the first floor and um, you hear everything so if you hear people in the hallway just know so I'm gonna be taking my um, all hours foundation by YSL and I'm in the color warm honey so sometimes I just put it like on the back of my hand and then I'll take a foundation brush and just go like that. And I always start like down here and then I bring it up. I do like a full coverage foundation just because I have acne prone skin and you know, you wanna cover up all those scars. So right now I'm just blending and this is um the 200 real techniques bought it at Target the other day I usually use um a brush from El Maquillage but I needed a new brush because I've had that other brush for a while and I always go like on my ears and down to my neck I'm so pale like I hate the winter because I'm so pale Wow, this brush is like so good. Why didn't I buy this before? So, update on my life that everybody has been asking. <laughs> um, so, after I got off YouTube, um, I actually started my business, which is Simple Lux. It's a online boutique. And I started that and launched it around like October. And it was so successful and I was so proud of myself and I was like, oh my god, like, I'm so glad that I found something that I wanted to do because, you know, in the beginning of the pandemic, when everything shut down, um, I was actually working and I was just like, you know, the way everything is going, like, I don't want to keep doing this, like, I need to figure out what the hell I'm going to do to support myself because the job that I had, like, it was cool and I liked it, but it wasn't something that I wanted to do. And especially during the pandemic, I did not, I worked in a school and I was like, I don't want to be in a classroom getting sick every week with kids. Like, that's just not, I like kids, but I like kids from a distance, you know? Um, I like office work, so that's what I was doing, but sometimes they would put me in a classroom and I was just like, not with it. Um... But, I quit that job and, you know, I was unemployed for a little bit and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna like start like different hobbies, see what I like. I did nails for a little bit, but then I was like, no, it's not my thing. Shout out to my best friend because she did that. She really started her nail journey and she's killing it. But, um... I was like, you know, I always wanted something of my own. Oh, by the way, look, I take a really long time blending in my foundation. <laughs> so that's why I'm taking long. Um, but yeah, like I wanted something of my own. And 
Uh, then I started, you know, doing some research and I was like, you know, I love clothes. Like, I love shopping. I love um, fashion and I'm a very simple person and that's where the name came from, Simple Lux, because I love simple clothing. Like, I'm not too crazy. I'm not um, too, like, extravagant. I just like simple things and I'm very small and petite, so, like, uh, I, I want clothes that I would wear and a lot of my girls that followed me, you know, they always ask me, where do you get this, where do you get this, and da, da, da. So I wanted to bring a collection that's something, you know, uh, of things that I would wear. So I'm not going with my beauty blender just to like really get my foundation into my skin. I'm so happy that I'm having a good skin day, by the way, because, I don't know, I, I'm a very big believer in, like, brujeria and my ojo, and I'm convinced that somebody has it out for me, but not for long because we're getting it together. So, yeah, so I started my business, I was very happy with it, and literally within a month, like, I moved out of my parents' house, and that was really exciting. A lot of good things happened to me that year, and, um, you know, I moved in with my boyfriend. We found this apartment, and I was so, so happy. So now I'm going in with my warm beige um, Born This Way concealer. This is, like, my favorite concealer ever. Uh, so I always go with like a uh, concealer that matches my skin tone first and then I go in with like a lighter concealer I'm just gonna go a little bit over here In those areas I'm going to go in with my concealer brush and then I'll go in with my beauty blender Just to like really pat in It's like really hard to talk and do your makeup and like film at the same time so Give me like a break because this is not easy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you know, I moved in with my boyfriend and business is booming and I'm like so grateful. And yeah, it was like pretty boring after that. <laughs> and then, you know, the new year came and unfortunately my mom, she was getting really sick. So she had uh, stage four breast cancer. And a lot of people were like, you know, how am I doing this? Like, how am I dealing with all this? Like, running a business, like, you know, trying to take care of my family and be there for everybody. And it's hard, but if it wasn't for my mother's strength, I probably wouldn't be here. Because she, she gave me all the strength um, that she had. And um, she passed away, like, in May but it was something that we already knew was gonna happen like we prepared a long time for it like I said she was already stage four it wasn't like she um, passed away out of nowhere it wasn't like a surprise or anything um, and like I said you know me and my dad and my sister we all prepared for it um, so we, you know, we got to say our goodbyes and, you know, she, she really helped us along the way. All right. So now I am going to just pat a little bit more. I'm going to go in with a lighter shade of the concealer in, um, in vanilla. And I'm just going to go under. So let me see how that gets brighter. So I'm putting it in the corner of my eyes, and then I'm going to bring it up. Like that, just to like lift everything. I'm also going to put some on my cupid's bow and a little bit more here. Because these are like my highlight areas. And then I'll put a little bit on my nose. And a little on my forehead but like I said it wasn't a surprise so we were able to I wouldn't say move on but we were able to take things day by day and 
get through it. Um, so, if you have any advice <laughs> to those watching, if you have any advice how to raise a preteen, please let me know. I'm going to go in blending this as much as I can. When I have my lashes, I don't really put too, too much. Like, I don't do, like, a full face every day. But just because it's Christmas, I will be doing a full face. I won't be wearing a lot of eyeshadow, though. But, um... Wow, like, literally everybody is outside. Oh my god, I look, like, so pale. That's really my life so far. Um... You know, just raising a preteen, you know, trying to run a business. Um, but it's life, you know. And sometimes life throws you some curveballs and you just have to keep going. You can't let anything stop you. That's just my way of thinking. Um, of course um you know feel your feelings don't just like bottle if you're dealing with grieving like i am there's gonna be days where you're like fuck i don't want to do anything and i just want to cry and whatever do that you know take those days take those mental health days and not do anything but feel your feelings that is perfectly okay this is a fancy concealer for my contour the matchstick in truffle just take the stick and run it down my nose you want to like contour my nose a little bit not everybody's been asking me for like a makeup tutorial for so long but like i said it's not easy to do your makeup and <laughs> film so i'm still like rusty i am still getting the hang of it but um, I wanted to do this just because, like, it's been so long since I filmed something. And I have, like, the camera now. I have the lights. I have a nice setup. In my other apartment, when I lived with my parents, like, I didn't feel like I had good lighting and all that stuff. But, now I'm just taking my concealer brush and I'm just going to gently contour I look crazy right now, but trust the process, okay? I take my beauty blender and just clean it up on the sides because it still has some concealer. Oh my god, guys, but this like whole new COVID variant is so crazy. The Omicron, whatever, Megatron, I don't know. Shit is like a transformer, the name that they give them. Um, where is my concealer? I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the vanilla concealer and just adding like a little dot there just so we can brighten it up a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my cheek contour and like on my forehead. So I always take it like this just so that it's not like so harsh. Um, and I'm gonna go like this. And I always bring it up. So I'm just bringing it up because it gives you like a more like facelift. Also, I've been wanting to get filler low key, but I'm scared to touch my face. Is that crazy? I'm also going to take some on my forehead and just blend it. But yeah, like I've been wanting to get um, like under eye filler and a little bit of cheek filler and some lip filler, but I'm literally scared to touch my face. Um, I feel like I get bad luck with things. <laughs> and the one thing I don't want to fuck with is my face, but I need to find like a good doctor in New York or at least LA. But we'll see. That's not a for sure thing. That's just something I've been wanting. I do want Botox though. Because, um, not that I'm like old, because I'm not old, but I am raising a preteen. So that's stressful. And 
I'm trying to look as young as possible. I know I'm not trying to have wrinkles. I'm not trying to have bad skin. Like, I... I think now that I'm older, like, I just want to focus on skin. That's why I don't really wear makeup every day. Only, like, on days like this. So I'm just, like, carving out my cheekbones and my jawline but um yeah i want to get botox so if you know a good doctor let me know because there's a few like doctors that i know that some girls go to but i'm very picky so i'm not willing to go to just anybody you have to be careful with like places that only have like influencers and this is i'm gonna tell you why because the more a place has like influencers instead of like real people i feel like they're just they're just looking for clout and um they'll only do good work on an influencer but like a actual real person like they'll do a half-assed job and so that's the only issue that I have with like certain doctors in New York because that's all they care about is some clout. A little bit of um, setting spray. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless. Just a little bit. Just so that my foundation really stays all night. And um... Yeah, so, like I said, just be careful with certain places that their whole feed is just, like, influencers. Because we don't have time for a half ass job. So now I'm just going in with my Fenty banana powder. Is it banana powder? I don't even know. Yeah, banana powder. Um, I love this powder. It's so like lightweight it smells good like everything i love it um and i'm just gonna like hit the high points of my face to highlight a little bit down my nose wherever i put the concealer is where i'm gonna be putting the powder and then i put a little bit like under here only a little bit i don't put too much under my, my cheekbones but a little bit on um, my, my smile lines babe i'm filming what you doing i'm filming huh i'm filming what i'm filming yo i'll let me see though but i'm in the middle of a video huh i'm in the middle of a video so i let um the powder like bake for a little bit underneath my eyes and I don't let it sit for too long probably like five minutes then I go in with a bronzer and I take like a big brush like this and I'm using the NARS which one is this I got this at like as a birthday present from um, Sephora this is the Laguna actually the Laguna bronzer and this is kind of what it looks like Okay, so taking a big fluffy brush, also real techniques, and I'm just gonna give myself like a sun kiss, kind of. Um, also, I'm gonna blend in the banana powder on my forehead. So you see how like it gives you a like a nice sun kiss, and then you have the highlight in the middle. Then I'm gonna take a little bit on my cheekbones, only a little bit. And I'm going to bring it up. We want to bring it up. We don't want to just like have it straight. I'm going to take a little bit on my nose. And I'll also take a little bit on my eyes. Because I'm not going to be using a a lot of um, eyeshadow. Just because I already have lashes. Like I don't really put too much eyeshadow. 
when I don't have lashes and I wear like falsies, then I'll do like a whole like eye look. But because I don't really like to get my lash extensions dirty, I don't really put too much. So now I'm just gonna take a little smaller fluffy brush and just you know blend in my banana powder under my eyes. Blend everything out. I love blush. I'm using the NARS Orgasm X. This is actually more pigmented than the original Orgasm. And it has like more sparkles. So this is what it looks like. It's such a pretty pink. I love it so much. I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush again. I'm gonna hit the apples on my cheeks. And again, the same way I did like the contour. The same way I did the contour. Bringing it up. A little bit on my chin. I put it everywhere, really. But put a little extra. See? It looks so nice. And it really, like, chisels out your cheekbones. Um... I don't know how people don't wear blush, but I love blush. When you put it the right way, you know? Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, I don't really wear highlight anymore, but because it's Christmas, I will add a little shimmer. So, I always go in, I have this old, like, Kylie Jenner palette. It's so busted, so I'm not even going to show you the mirror part. <laughs> It's this one. I don't know if you can really see. I'm going to take this brush. I just bought all these brushes like yesterday at Target, by the way. Um, this is Equal Tools. And it's pretty cool. It came with these two brushes, but they all have like different ends for eyeshadow, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to take the first um, color, which is Buttermilk. It's kind of like a banana powder, but... It's really pretty and I always use this just to like add some brightness to my eye and I'm not going to be using a lot of eyeshadow I'm just really like carving out kind of like not a cut crease but like a little contour on my eye so because we already put the concealer well the contour cream like like this on my eye I'm just adding a little shadow and a little brightness. So I'm going to go in with the brown color and just define that crease right above actually the crease. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to take this end of the brush and I'm going to take like a darker brown and I'm just going to create like a little wing. I always love doing an eyeshadow wing more than like a like a gel eyeliner or a pencil liner. It just looks so much like more elegant with eyeshadow. And it really brings out the um the eyelashes more. Like I love a cat eye. So my lashes, I get them in a mega volume or sometimes just a regular volume with cat eye. Taking this highlight and just putting it in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm also going to be taking it on the bridge of my nose. And I only put it at the top really. And then a little bit on the tip of my nose. So like that. And on my cupid's bow. Just because when I put the um, lip liner, it'll stand out more. So then I take my fluffy brush, tap it a little bit into the highlight. And I just go like that. Not too much. Just because it's the holidays and I want to be a little bit sparkly, but not that much. So that's the face. Now I'm going to do my brows. I always do my lips last. I have different options. 
and I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I'm always between using the pomade from Anastasia or I have this instant lift brow pencil from e.l.f. I also have an, a NYX marker. I think I'm going to do the NYX marker today. We'll see how it looks. But um, just to like bring it up and just fill in any little spaces. I'm going to go in with the pencil side. I'm just going to shape them. So yeah guys, you know, I wanted to get back on YouTube just because like I have so much time on my hands now and you know, I just I wanted to come back. Like I've been not bored, but like oh well, yeah, bored. But I need to I need to do something like I, I my day to day is usually like I wake up make breakfast and then I head over to my office um, work on some packages go to the post office pick up my sister or wait for my sister to get home like that's really how my day goes I feel like you guys with my old YouTube channel you guys really didn't get to hear me talk too much. I was always just doing videos with like with my boyfriend like for comedy and stuff like that. Um but I want you guys to really get to know me. How, by the way, how cute are these pajamas from Target? Target has like the best pajamas. Um I got like this Christmassy one. It's like a sh shirt and a short set. I've been wanting to go get like um microblading but i'm always afraid of like permanent stuff but i got tattoos so I, I should get over that um i'm gonna wipe my lips because my lips are dry as fuck another thing is i got tattoos duh like that was something that happened this year um i got two tattoos one above my knee and one on my ankle and the one on my ankle is like um a lily in like a vase and it was actually my mom's favorite flower so i got that for her and then the tattoo above my um knee it says no rain no flowers and that's just like a reminder for me that like Without the sad moments in your life or the bad moments in your life, like, you you won't be able to appreciate the good, you know? That's why I got that tattoo. And I got those tattoos, like, right after my mom passed away. But she actually hated tattoos. Like, I know when I got that tattoo for her, she was, like, rolling in her grave because she did not approve of tattoos, but... I'm a grown ass woman, you can't tell me what to do. Taking these two, my, my concealers, and mixing them. And we're gonna put it underneath my eye. I'm gonna take a brush like this. I've had this brush for so long, I don't know where it's from. I think I got it on Amazon like five years ago, but it, I always use it to sculpt my brows. So I'm just patting a little bit and we're gonna sculpt. Now while that concealer dries, I'm just going to go in again with the brush and just fix it, shape it up, clean up the line, the concealer line. Now that I, I like, you know, moved out and I have experienced what it is <laughs> to live or have your own apartment. I definitely know what I want for my next apartment. Don't get me wrong, I love this apartment. I'm so happy that we found it. It's so beautiful. Um, and we got lucky because it was like fully renovated and all the stuff and rent stable. But for our next apartment, I definitely don't want to be in a 
loud neighborhood. Um, I hate my neighbors. Let me add some chapstick. Because now I'm ready for my lips. Mm, all right, so I'm gonna take my KKW lip liner, and this is in the classic Kim. It's like a nice brown. It kind of reminds me of chestnut from Mac. I also have a weird Cupid's bow. Um, so when I was younger, I actually split my lip in half, so I have like this scar, and so my Cupid's bow is like not even. It's like slanted, so I always have to like go over it with lip liner just to make it even it's like the stupidest story i was playing with bubbles and i actually you know like when you slide on the floor so i was like sliding like back and forth and i thought it was so fun i had to be like seven years old or eight years old and i fell but i fell like face forward into the floor and i hit my face on like a corner of a tv table and like it just split my lip in half and <laughs> I was in my grandma's house when it happened and I just like come out the room and I'm gushing blood and my grandma's freaking out my grandpa's freaking out and I don't know if it's like a real thing I think it is but like if you put sugar on like a wound like it stops the blood well my grandfather tried to do that but instead I guess because he was panicking instead he put salt and it bled even more and it hurt so bad i was screaming it was so bad and he felt like so bad because he was like oh my god i just made it worse you know but luckily the hospital was literally like a block away like we just walked there and i was able to get my stitches and my mom actually used to be like a nurse so when i was getting my stitches Actually, when I was getting my stitches taken out, after like my wound had already healed, um, she was in the room with me and a nurse that was taking my stitches out, I guess didn't really know what she was doing. And I'll always remember this memory. But my mom was like in the corner, like eyeing her down, like you better not mess up, you better not mess up. And the nurse was about to clip my lip because it was like weird the way the plastic surgeon did the stitches that if she would have cut it the wrong way she was actually going to take like a snip of my lip and she almost did and my mom like called her out she was like put the scissors down you're not doing it right you're going to cut her lip and it's going to be worse right it was so bad and the nurse was so embarrassed but my mom my mom be knowing i'm going to go in with a nude and this is a nude 2.5 by kkw and i'm just gonna add some color look how pretty that nude is i'm gonna even out the cupid bow so this is the radiate by kkw also i love like i said all her like lip products they're the best this is like a shimmery gloss and it's so pretty and that's really it that's all i'm gonna do Where's my setting spray? Go again with my setting spray. And now I'm just like drench myself. And I let that sit for a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit more eyeshadow underneath my eye. Just to give it a pop. But for my lips, I'm done. And that's really it. I'm actually not crazy about this mascara, but it's the only one I have right now. It's very dramatic. But it works. For now. So, does anybody else do like a really ugly face when they do their mascara? Because I do. So I'm not putting too much. Just a little bit. Just so I can have like a pop of the eye. need though okay so that's really my makeup look you see that highlight and you see that contour yeah it's giving 
Wow, I did that. I look so good. You ever like finish your makeup and you just like super hype? So, yeah, that's it. I am gonna show you guys what I will be wearing. I'm wearing a dress from Maruzia. It's really cute. It's like a beige cream color dress. I'm also gonna be wearing some like snake knee high boots. It's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be a vibe. Um, so yeah, this is the look. And how cute are these pajamas? Like, super cute. This is the look. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be wearing for Christmas Eve. It's this beautiful long dress from Aritzia and it's in a size extra extra small. And I got these matching boots, snake print, and I'm going to try it on right now. 